Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is properly opening and closing a Solid Cam file. So the way Solid Cam works as an integrated software inside SolidWorks is essentially we use the temporary folder for anything we're working on while we're working on it. And then once you go to close your Solid Cam file, to properly close it, you want to take all that temporary information and make it a permanent version. All that happens behind the scenes. Uh, that's basically an explanation as to why there is a proper way to close solid CAM files. Uh, but let's go through general use of the files inside both SolidWorks and Solid CAM, and you can see the differences. So if you were to open a SolidWorks file, so this is your CAD model, your solid model, however you want to refer to it, you're going to go to File, Open, and then browse for the file. So in this case, this SOLIDWORKS file or a IGES file or a STEP file that I'm looking to translate, I would go to File Open and open up the SOLIDWORKS file. This file is for design only. To close this file, I can click on the X in the top right corner. So that closes that particular file. SOLIDCAM is different. SOLIDCAM, because it's integrated, it still uses the same interface, but we don't use that top X in the corner. To open up a solid cam file, you'll go to Tools, then Solid Cam, Open. So that opens up solid cam files, and you basically just need to browse for your file. And then we look for our solid cam file. Always we'll have that solid cam symbol. Double click on it just like any other file, and we're looking at a solid cam file. We have our toolpaths on the left side there, and everything's the same. Now, if you were to hit that X in the top right corner, you're closing the SolidWorks file. Keep in mind, we're integrated inside SolidWorks, so you are still working on a SolidWorks file with solid cam embedded in it. So in the X in the top right corner, we'll close the SolidWorks file, but it leaves solid cam open. All that temporary folder information is still in the temporary folder, and it is recovered. If you, when you first open up the solid cam file the second time, you'll see a little message that says open from temporary folder or from compressed permanent folder. And that essentially is the difference. If I did not properly close this, then the file is still in the temporary folder. I could open from there. Um, oftentimes customers, they will see some information lost if they don't properly save their file. So this is exactly what this video is for. To properly close the solid cam file, we're going to go to cam part, right click, and close. There's also a way to do it inside the operations, but this actually exits out of solid cam entirely. You'll have to reopen the add-on if you click on this button. But to properly close this individual file, simply go to right click and close. So what that does is it takes all that temporary information, compresses it and puts it in its final destination. The destination you chose when you first opened up the solid cam file. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.